I do this every time I turn on time. It's not going to be as lovely as last year's or any other times. We've so for tomorrow. Planned on getting up. Get your alarm set for six o'clock. Six. Done. Yeah. Sweet baby Jesus. What time do we play it? No. We play at nine. <laughs> but I'd love to get out of here by seven. So captain's meetings at eight, and we should be cleared by eight fifteen. So we could warm up. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I don't care if you Ryan. So we could throw in. Is that get things going? On. Um, new people. You will get some playing time. Be ready to play. Um, I usually do a pretty good job of getting everybody in there doing stuff. So this is. This, the thing that's kind of cool about this year, for me anyway, is that there's actually people on the sideline <laughs> instead of three dudes that have just ran around and are all tired getting drinks. When you're on the sideline, um, be on both sides of the field and really help out those people on the field. If you are kind of just, I, I forgot my chair so I can't even sit down. I thought about that tonight. I'm like, oh, man. God, that's the long chair. Right? Give you this chair. Um, Get some extra side. But if, Ryan, you, got you. if you are on that sideline and engaged with what's going on on the field, it's easier to come in from the sidelines and go on there and be at the same temple that the game is being played at. And that's sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is you're coming in cold and like, oh, and you'll be a little jittery and everything. You're going to always have people on the field that will help you out, okay? I'm not going to just leave, you know, all seven of you guys that have first started out in the field by yourselves. At least not until I feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Which is a lot of what... How you get the more comfortable, I, the more comfortable I feel playing you, the more time you're liable to get. I will give you that time and that experience to get there. Um, I had. I don't, do you ever remember Ryan? No, this is that. There was a guy I played with. This is back when I was playing club there in Madison, and we went to nationals. Like 2001, I think. We just beat Sub Zero at regionals and we went to nationals. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him afterwards. He's like, Yep, spent $600, played six points, and learned the most about Ultimate I ever learned in my life. He was there while he was watching, seeing what happens. So even if you're not in there, if you're engrossed in the game, you will learn a whole heck of a lot this weekend. Um, I usually, so that's, especially for you new people that are freshmen and sophomores, that's, all these guys over here are gone next year. Okay. Silver screen. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Wow, Tommy. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're we should have left Tommy new and home. wonderful next year. <laughs> um, I mean, so, as I told these guys, your time is your time is now, okay. Your time is coming, and it's not as far away as you think. Um, so just just bear that in mind. Um, we've had I and I just I want to say that I've enjoyed. I mean, it's been just one of the worst late winters that I've remembered with snow and cold wise in a long time. And you guys have still made that effort to come out. I mean, before we've had, typically we've had about, I think last year we were almost going twice a week indoors. Mm -hmm. um, and this year we got two. two. So that that's a little bit of difference, but you guys still made that effort and came out. You're still here now. and. For me, I that's that's really cool, and I thank you for that effort. Um, like I said, as I told you guys before, this is let's see what we could do. 
You guys know it. You'll have, you know, put us in a position where these guys get playing time. Okay? Um, I, that's about all I have to say. Remember, get up early. Get your breakfast. I'd like to get out of here by 7. It says 30 miles. I expect it only take us about 45 minutes um, because once I don't know what the lights once we get off the highway I don't know what 20 and 12 95 5th Street what kind of the lights situation is there shouldn't be much traffic at that time on a Saturday morning it's not like we get hit in rush hour but I don't know what we could have lights every other you know every street and they can be geared up so that we stop at every light type of thing. I don't expect that to happen. Um, we play at the same field all day until our crossover game. So we'll set it. We got the tent. We'll pitch it up. Um, and we'll keep our stuff under there. Keep it dry. Make sure you bring the stuff you need with you. Extra socks. Warm clothes. As you tell, once we got out of the restaurant, it was a little bit chillier. Um, if the sun's out, even if it's 35, it'll be it'll feel warm. I felt that this week when I was outside that the sun actually felt warm this week, so that is coming. Ain't quite warm enough for me yet, mm -hmm. but it is coming. Um, yeah, you want to make sure that you're bringing stuff for between games. You want to make sure that you're warm between games. Yep. There's nothing worse than, you know, kind of getting that chill. And uh, and that makes it that much more difficult to prepare for the next game. You're not comfortable. And we want to be comfortable between games. And, and unlike a lot of these other teams, we've played in this weather. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I don't mind being outside. You know what to expect. You've been out. In, you've been out there in colder and worse conditions than what we'll have tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've played in awful conditions. This is going to be like springtime in Miami. <laughs> well, maybe not quite, but um, springtime in Chicago. As I've told some of your press, it could be seventy, it could be thirty, but it's going to be something. Um, with. Offense, know that if there's a wind and we're going downwind, we're running the reverse C. Does anybody not know what that is right now? Space car. Or space car, they like to call it. <clears throat> so who, you were here that one day that we ran it. You guys should all know it. Sam, do you know what that is? The one we did yesterday. Did we run it yesterday? No. 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 Uh, so, you have... We, we run with three handlers, okay? You know that, right? Yeah, there's some okay. Right. okay. There's four people in a stack in the middle of the field, okay? The back guy goes to the open side. Do you know what I mean by open side? Yeah. What do I mean by open side? <laughs> <laughs> the, the opposite side. The, the side they're forcing. The side, their side. If they're forcing us forehand, that back guy is going to cut to the forehand side. Okay. The second guy from the back is going to cut to the brake side. Do you know what I mean by brake side? Okay. The other side. That's, that's, the side, that's the side that they're trying to take away. Okay, so you'll hear people this week and say, no brake, no brake, no brake. They don't want that disc to get to that side of the field. The second person in the stack then is going to take that jab step forward and then go deep. And usually we'll do that downwind on a short field meaning we don't have very far to go, okay? And the idea with that is, if I can just diagram, you have your, your deepest guy, second deepest guy, and then the two guys in the front of the stack, and here are your handlers. First guy cuts to the open side, second guy cuts to the, to the uh, closed side, and this third guy all of a sudden has all this room in front of him where he can just go deep on his guy. And like KJ said, if he takes a couple jab steps in, the man's going to bite on it because he doesn't want you to get open underneath. And all you have to do is turn and run, and you've got the entire rest of the field in front of you. There are no defenders there. You've got your defender behind you. And if it's a moderately good throw and you're able to keep him behind you, you're going to score or catch it right on the goal. Right. So it's, it's the parting of the sea, but it's in a reverse direction. Right. Right. 
All right, o away from you know, away from the um, stack there. The thing to point out about that though is those other two guys, the guy that cuts open side and the guy that cuts to the break side. Those are both viable cuts. Yeah. The break side guy, you can hit him with that long inside out forehand. And the open side guy, if he's open for a 20 yard gainer or a 30 yard gainer, we can also take that. You don't have to. We worked on that Tuesday. Yeah. I, I just don't think you were there Tuesday, were you? No. no yeah, because we worked on that. It'll uh, make sense once you Yeah, see you'll it a few start times. seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it's a couple years ago we ran it against West, and we ran it every play. And it was. It, we won the game. <laughs> that's <laughs> a good play. Pretty plain and simple. And if it doesn't work, and you've thrown it long, but then the you're on defense and they have to go the whole way into the wind. Into the wind. So when the wind's at your back, it's a good strategy to use. Um, <coughs> Defensive-wise, we typically end up playing zone against these teams that we'll play tomorrow. And we worked on that um, trap. Thursday. Uh, remember that trap? We kind of changed it up a little bit. It's only when they're by the side. Um, and, like I said, again, you're not going to be in there without people that know what's going on. When you're in there, you will both have myself and Sam, and I typically will be communicating with that new player out there. So just don't turn and look at me when I'm saying something to you. Tommy. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I'm saying. I'm Tommy, look at me. What? <laughs> Don't do that now, Tommy. Okay? But I can't hear you. <laughs> I'll try to be a little bit louder. I have louder. to look at your mouth. <laughs> read your lips. Um, I'll try to be a little bit louder then for you, Tommy. <laughs> but, um, so we will work on that trap a little bit. It's different than we, what we've normally done, stick, so, and then it's it's going to take tweaking, okay? We'll see how it works going against a team, and then we'll tweak it out from there. Do you think we'll come out running zone? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's our thing, man. We play zone. We're, <laughs> we're the Syracuse of... <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> good. Good, good it, it happens when you don't play yeah. Arizona. That you don't have speed to match up. <laughs> we're not athletic enough. <laughs> yeah. I think we I, we're, 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 we're a lot better than one. we have been. Oh, not yeah. that. But we like to play the zone. Actually, I like the zone better. because I'm lazy. And then I don't really do the zone. Yeah. Yeah. The you like yeah. the cup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not in the cup. I'm not in the cup. Yeah. Get at me, honors. Yeah, you shouldn't be lazy even on that wing. That's the bad thing. If you get lazy in his own, then you're getting scored on. Um, but it works. Uh, last thing I have to say tonight is, like I said, you're, you're here to play ultimate, okay? It's fun to be away from home in the hotel and everything like that, but the reason you're here is to play ultimate. I don't want to get any calls from the front desk saying, the boys in room 220 are being loud and they're keeping up their neighbors. If that happens, dress really warm tomorrow. Okay? Because it could be a long, long day. And you won't get sweaty. You won't be getting sweaty. So keep that in mind. Um, I can't really think of anything. Like I said, this is our first test for the year. We want to start out here and then build as the season progresses. So that by the end of the year, we're playing our best. Okay? This is, as I like to call this, games in Spring League. Those are just like little quizzes. Okay? Let's try to at least get, what do we, normally we play really well Saturday and then we get the crossover game and lose to those guys and then Sunday we don't we don't play last year on Sunday mm. yeah we won nah. we did we won we lost our last we game against Geneva we won one point game so we didn't lose last year okay oh, yeah. it's just right. I just remember that we typically don't do well on Sunday and I think it's because we, we usually don't play on Sunday 
Or oh, yeah, the first two years. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because they had the snow the one year and then thunderstorms the next year. And, yeah. Clear skies. Eight them. people. Yeah, we'll clear skies for them. Um, so, um, we'll, we'll keep you guys, try to keep you fresh. Um, Drew, Sam, Matt, Swan on Plane. Yeah. And tell me when you guys want to come out and we'll get you southern there. The rest of you, I'll get you in and out. Depending on, um, Gabe will probably play defense, Dick will mainly play defense. Um, you're probably going to play defense mainly. But I may put you on off. Let me know how your ankle's feeling. Eric's right there. You guys are going to be turned off. Don't turn it over. Do you want to turn it over? That's my fault. I want to play defense. I never want to play defense. I like the wing. Aaron, Sam, Joe, and Tommy. You guys will be getting in on defensive points. Okay. Zoe, we're going to probably start you out on playing defensive points, and if things work out, we'll, we'll get you in a few old points playing handler type thing. Um, Ian, are you up to play an offense, or would you rather stick out on defense? I'll do. I'd like to start you uh, on get some offense out of you, too. Um, Anders, you will be. Anders? Except it. Uh, and Durst. 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 Just call him Durst. Just call him, yeah, just call him They'll call me Durst now, so. All right, Durst. 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 I'd like to get you working on some of the offense, too. Okay. Offensive points, I think. Yeah. I think maybe cutting, I don't know. Handling, for sure. Um, so that's, so you guys kind of know what to expect going in tomorrow. That's kind of what we do here tonight. We usually kind of go through, each person has their little piece to say here. At the beginning of the year, um, we could do that again if you want, or we can just kind of. So anybody got anything that they want to say? Sam, do you got anything you'd like to say? Yes, being sir. new here, and um, we know uh, we know a couple of things. This is our first tournament of the year, so um, there's going to be a little bit of rust, despite the fact that we have been practicing for a month and a half or so, and we've been outdoors. Nevertheless, this is the first time we're in a competitive situation, and it's the first time for a lot of other people, okay? Um, we know it's windy. We know the weather's going to be a little bit tough. So mistakes are going to happen. There are going to be drops. There are going to be some passes that just don't go where we want them to go, all right? Um, and there are also going to be some, you know, cutting decisions. Hey, I thought you were going to go there, but you went there. When all of these things happen, the most important thing to remember is we're a team. And all of us have the same goal in mind, which is to perform the best, win, okay, and, you know, have the best result possible. Every one of us has that goal in mind. And for that reason, we have to remain positive even in the face of adversity. When your teammate makes a mistake, you have to just let it go. You can't get on their case about the mistake that was made, okay? If you make the mistake, don't get down on yourself. We're all going to make mistakes tomorrow. Every one of us, I promise you. Even me. Okay? Um, you can't get on your own case. You can't get on other people's cases. You have to uh, immediately let it past you and get right on defense and, you know, stop the next play. Get it right back. If that doesn't happen, no big deal. Go to the sideline, get your water, get ready to come back in and do a great job. So the last thing we want you to do is get down on yourself, and even more so, we don't want you to get down on your teammates. All right? You remain positive. You never know what happens late in the game when you're down by four or five points. You stay positive. The other team can make a mistake. You can get one or two lucky breaks, one or two hot plays, and you're right in the game again. So. <coughs> If you, if you don't keep that in mind and you allow your head to hang, then those opportunities don't present themselves as well. All right? So keep that in mind tomorrow. All right? And I want to echo what KJ said about making sure that we take advantage of having people on the sideline, both sidelines, okay? actively cheering for their teammates, making noise when hot plays happen. You've got to celebrate that stuff. All right? That's why we're here. That's what's so lovely about the game. 
And the other thing is letting people know, hey, there's a guy behind you, or hey, look, this space is open, or there's a poach on Harry, or whatever it happens to be. When we have the extra six, seven sets of eyes on the sidelines, on either side, we can see all of that stuff, okay? But if we allow ourselves to be distracted, like, hey, you know, what's going on on this other game over here? All right, that happens, all right? People get distracted by that stuff. Or you just sort of poop out, and you're not really into the game, and you're just there on the sideline waiting for your turn. Like KJ said, you kind of lose the tempo, all right? Whereas if you're in there, you're moving up and down the sidelines, you're talking to one or two people, and you're helping them, you know, play the game, that keeps you in the game, and it helps them do a you know, a better job and be more active and, and ready out there. Um, so keep positive and keep in the game, even when you're on the sidelines. All right, I'm looking for a great first tournament with you guys and looking to start off our year wonderfully. This is just our first tournament, so no matter what happens, we have so many wonderful things in front of us. Even if we lose all our games, this weekend is a success because we build things for the future. We're not going to lose all our games. <laughs> All right, but we're going to make some successful things happen after this. Sweet. That's all I've got. Great. Nothing. Awesome. Uh, it's a start for it's a start of our what I think is our best season yet, and the start of some ultimate careers. So let's just start out with the with the bang. Let's win every game. <laughs> you know, it, it, Screw it, fries. It's, you know, I, I've, I've always said, you know, it's fun to play ultimate, it's more fun to win. However, if you're playing good ultimate, and you know you're playing good ultimate, and you lose, then you lose. that's more fun too. I mean, that is fun. You, you can walk off the field. I've told this story before, I was coaching the girls over at Memorial. We were playing Amherst at Nationals. <laughs> Saturday, we lost 15 to 1. Girls were coming. That's the worst team I ever saw. My girls, and it's the first time and only time I've ever seen it happen, quit on themselves and on that game. And they came off the field with the worst feeling of that game. The next day, same two teams, everything, and I had a few choice words for him after that game on Saturday, which I usually don't use, as most of you know. <laughs> There's a time and a place when they need to come out. They played the same team, lost 15 to 1, came off the field. That was the best game I've ever played. They were so much fun to play against. The difference between Saturday and Sunday was their attitude. Now the other team them. So go on with the attitude of having fun, enjoying the competition, playing the person across from you to your best ability. And, and the chips will fall where they are. You may win, you may lose, but you went out there and you did what you could do to help everybody else succeed. So. Anybody else over here? It might rain tomorrow. If you're bringing a backpack or something and you have a plastic bag, I have, might want to bring some. Yeah. So you can wrap your backpack. Um, I've got a, one of those easy ups and I've got the tarp so we'll have the sides and we'll be Just able to put prepared. things under there. The ground's going to be wet, so I think some other parents said they had a tarp too. But, you know, don't stand underneath that little shelter because then you won't be in the game. And if I don't see you, uh, you could be saying, oh, the game's over. Hey, hey, I didn't get in. Sam will let me know who I did or did not get in. You guys don't have to worry about that. Okay. Sam will be like, oh, yeah, okay. If I see you, you're more apt to get in. If you get lost, you're more apt not to get in. Don't be afraid to play. Okay? Even if you're new and you're not sure about your throws or your defense or whatever, those things will come. First two years I played ultimate, I didn't throw a forehand. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know how. I remember that guy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they would throw it to me deep, and I would catch either a goal Some or <laughs> real close, and somebody would run behind me, and I'd go, here you go, and run away. That's what I did. 
<laughs> and I played defense. And I, I played okay defense. Um, so when you're in there, just do your best. And play that point as hard as you can. Be so tired that you're like, I gotta come off KJ. I can't, I, uh, we've got enough subs. I, just let me take a breather right here. Okay? That's how you want to play each and every point. We want everybody to be doing that. Yeah. We'll have ice baths for you at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fairy. Oh, Ooh. I'll, get so, <laughs> I'll get double digit seconds. I'll get double digit seconds. So that's, like I said, it's, as I said earlier this year, you'll get what you put into it. If you're active in the game, you will get so much more out of it. If you're inactive in the game, you will get so much less out of it. Okay? Um, have fun with these people. I've known some of these guys for four years. I've known the rest of them for three years. These are a wonderful bunch of people. When we're in between games, make sure we're out there throwing. You know, this is the perfect time to work on throwing. You've got all day. You don't have to, like, i got to get whatever in this hour and a half time period that we have where we're trying to do a hundred different things. We've got all day. Just throw, say, hey, Kale, come out and throw with me. Kale will throw with you. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's, that's what you're oh, saying. Oh, yeah. um, So, like I said, get some sleep tonight. I, I don't know, Michigan State just beat Iowa. But, I don't know if there's another basketball game. Okay, the Badgers won. The Badgers did. That's all that matters. Yes, it is. Um, um, I've, I've really got no, nothing else. Sort of lost I'm, ex I'm excited time. to watch you guys play tomorrow. All right. What's wrong? Right. Right. Times where yeah, last yeah, year yeah. I got to watch him play. And yeah, you guys will be calling your own Hops. lines and stuff. Okay? Like, Drew, I think you were doing it last year. Yeah, like the top 10 team in the nation. Drew, Matt, and I mean, they're they all know I've talked to oh, them yeah. about where people are playing, and they've kind of got an idea of what they're doing too. So I just hang out and keep score. I'm a glorified scorekeeper. You doing drops and catches this year? Um, no. Maybe this, this week. Did I do them at this game last no. year? No. Nope. no. I usually give you guys one. I have stuff for the announcements. What? I have stuff for the announcements. We could so keep well. assists goals, but... Um, yeah, assists No. It's okay, what? Just, yeah. I'll, I'll see what I feel like. Keep if track not, if it's raining, I'm not going to have that piece of paper. I will keep the score on something. He's 20 billion assists. Um, oh, wait, that's oh um, the other offense that we will be doing is that split stand. And I think, Aaron, you were there that day that we talked about that. You guys all know about split stacks? Yeah. Okay. Let's say here's a sideline. Okay. Sam, give me two fists here. Okay, we still have our three across the bottom, or three handlers, and then we have two people in the middle of the field. And we're usually working to the open side. One comes in, if that's there, he's getting it. This guy's going deep. Or we're doing something like this, or we'll flood. And then as it, well, they do the continuation, or if we don't get it to him, these guys don't move off to that side. These two will come in the middle, we'll get it swung to the side, then they work that side of you. Um, like I said, we'll see how that works. I don't know. I don't think we've got enough people there to work on it. But, I don't know. Any questions? Any comments?